Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, it's time to go fast. That's right. If you're tired of cloud storage slowing you down, then I have good news. I'm going to show you which cloud storage services are the fastest. Let's get right into it, shall we? Cloud storage has a lot of benefits, but nothing is worse than waiting for your data to upload or download because of slow speeds. Ever missed a deadline because your files were stuck uploading? Say goodbye to that nightmare. The cloud storage services I'm going to show you have the fastest speeds based on our independent testing. The fastest was a bit of a surprise, so make sure to stick around until the end to find out which provider that is. As well as highlighting their speed performance, I'll also cover standout features which make them a worthy choice. I'll highlight some of their drawbacks also, so you know exactly what you're signing up for and if a given cloud storage service is something for you or not. I get it. Not everyone needs a fast cloud storage provider, but if you regularly work with large files or a lot of data, slow speeds can really cripple your productivity. And I'm speaking from experience. I myself deal with a lot of video files, gigabytes and gigabytes in size. So if I can shave off five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes per day, this will increase my productivity and I'm faster out to be on the beach and sip a margarita. Before we get into which cloud storage services had the fastest speeds though, we need to talk about our testing methods so you know exactly how we evaluated and gauged each individual cloud storage service. Every cloud storage service we review receives an independent speed test. Additionally, we periodically retest cloud storage providers to see if there are like any changes in speed. Some may have gone down, some may have gone up. And when we conduct a test, we use our virtual server, which is currently located in Dublin, Ireland. It has a top speed of one gigabit per second, but we can cap that to 100 megabits per second, which gives us a little bit more of a realistic test environment and um, most people will not have internet speeds of a gigabit per second, unfortunately, yet. So the data we upload is five gigabytes in size, unzipped, and it contains a mix of file types, such as PDFs, videos, images, and music. And because we, we value consistency, we run uploads and downloads twice to see how a service performs overall. Now that we essentially have our speed testing method out of the way, let's get into which cloud storage services are really the fastest. The first cloud storage provider to make our list is pCloud. It has great download speeds and upload speeds that won't slow you down. It is not the fastest service we've tested, but for a cloud storage provider that focuses on security and privacy, pCloud is fairly quick. Average download speeds were the slowest of our list with an average of eight minutes and 32 seconds. The download average speed was faster at seven minutes and 22 seconds. Neither uploads nor downloads were very taxing on the CPU and only during uploads did we notice a few slowdowns during data transfers. We give pCloud high marks as a safe and secure cloud storage that has plenty of features. It has excellent sync capabilities and has one of the best desktop virtual drive apps from all cloud storage services. With a virtual drive, you can essentially work on your files while they're still in the cloud and therefore not taking up any hard drive space, a feature that I love. And if privacy is your jam, you can purchase pCloud encryption. With pCloud encryption, you'll gain access to a zero knowledge folder inside your account and anything you store in the private encryption folder is protected from prying eyes. With pCloud encryption, you generate essentially another password or encryption key, which you'll need whenever you want to open your encrypted folder on your desktop or mobile device. So it's very important not to lose that key because otherwise you will not be able to access your files anymore. pCloud is not the perfect solution, especially when it comes to collaboration. There aren't really 
many tools to seamlessly work on documents with others. And if third-party apps are an important part of cloud storage, pCloud probably isn't for you as it really does not have an app market. You can share files, you can generate links, you can obviously copy and paste the links into spreadsheets. That's absolutely not a problem and people can access it without, without any troubles. But there is no real, what I would call native API integration with other tools. The next cloud storage service with excellent speed is OneDrive. During our testing, OneDrive had consistent speeds, averaging seven minutes and 31 seconds for uploads and seven minutes and 17 seconds for downloads. We noticed that OneDrive had little issue with larger files, although it did use up 40% RAM at times during uploads. And with that much RAM usage, you might notice some impacts to your device performance. For example, other apps you're running may slow down when you're uploading a lot of files to the cloud. As a cloud storage service, OneDrive has many of the features you're looking for, especially when it comes to productivity and collaboration. It has real-time collaboration in apps like obviously Word or Excel, and if you frequently use Microsoft 365 applications, OneDrive is essential a, a natural choice for this environment. OneDrive isn't for everyone, particularly those who don't use Microsoft apps for those who care really about privacy. It's no secret that Microsoft collects data on you when you use its products, so you might want to keep an eye on that. Next up is another familiar name in cloud storage, and that is Dropbox. Dropbox is one of the granddaddies of cloud storage, and it has consistently fast speeds. Uploads averaged seven minutes and 18 seconds, while average download speeds were slightly slower at seven minutes and 22 seconds. In the past, our testing showed Dropbox to be a heavy drain on the CPU, even though it got up to speed very fast. In recent tests, Dropbox uploads and downloads barely impacted CPU performance, which is great, obviously. Dropbox remains a popular choice as it was the first to really popularize the local sync folder on your device. They popularized the term cloud storage. While before it was always something for nerds who had their own FTP servers with Dropbox and their sync folder, now it became commonplace for everyone to use. And it still has some of the best syncing features available, such as selective sync and block level sync. Now, selective sync lets you choose which folders you want to sync and which ones you don't. Block level sync only updates the part of a file that you modified instead of uploading the entire file for every change. The main drawback of Dropbox is that you need to purchase a plan to have any usable storage space since the free account only comes with two gigabytes. Also, it collects a lot, a lot of user data and shares with selected third parties and it's really not the best cloud storage for privacy. Google Drive is another familiar name as it's one of the most widely used cloud storage platforms. Part of its popularity is because it's a fast service with download speeds being among the speediest we've tested, averaging seven minutes and 18 seconds. Upload speed averaged and, and even faster seven minutes and 15 seconds. As we've tested Google Drive, we noticed that it had low CPU load throughout our testing, never going beyond 50%. Once Google Drive reached max speeds, the upload and download transfers were pretty much very stable. Productivity and collaboration are at the heart of Google Drive's appeal, as you can work on Google Docs or Google Sheets with multiple people at once. It's easy to share content and manage individual access, and Google Drive has very good syncing capabilities, which makes sure you're always working on the most recent version of a file, no matter how many people are involved. Despite convincing marketing materials, the main drawback to using Google Drive or any other Google product is the amount of data it collects on you. Using Google means you become part of its big data and marketing efforts. When it comes to fast cloud storage, the general rule is that fast speeds are a typical trade-off for tighter security and user-focused privacy. That's why security and privacy-focused options like Sync.com don't make our list of the fastest cloud storage services. So it's pretty amazing that iStrive 
comes in as the fastest cloud storage service we've tested. iStrive nearly broke the seven minute mark for both upload and download speeds, which is a technological marvel given it uses the strong encryption protocol called TwoFish and according to iStrive is more secure than AES-256 bit encryption. When we tested iStrive, upload speed averaged seven minutes and nine seconds, while download speeds averaged seven minutes and 26. Now, we will note that the CPU load was high and noticeable at the beginning before dropping quickly. Additionally, it used a significant amount of memory during our uploads. With fast speeds and great security, it's tough to find a fault with iStrive. However, those looking for a feature-rich experience might find iStrive a little bit lacking. iStrive is one of the younger cloud storage services, so they might be packing in more features as we go along. Additionally, it is not really the best for productivity or collaboration. iStrive has a zero-knowledge folder, however, it is only available with a paid plan, so free users sadly miss out, which is kind of frustrating, but okay, they need to make money, I get it. If you want to know more about all of these cloud storage services, head over to cloudwords.net or watch some of our other reviews here on the channel, link in the description. And there you have it, the fastest cloud storage services based on our independent speed tests. Before you jet off to take advantage of these fast cloud storage services, do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button so we know to keep making more content like this. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss out our next video. See you next time. Bye-bye.